Leo, honey, how are these retrogrades treating you? I just started your video like three times. It's just something kicking off. Something fell over. Disconnect. Let's try this again, shall we? Leo, welcome to your gentle love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's going on? Show me what I mean. Oh, okay. Ten of cups. Good. Question mark? That was such a intense break. <laughs> okay. Okay. What about your Ten of Cups? Oh, we're anticipating coming out of a healing space for some of you. Ah, oh, some of you, your curiosity has picked up. Okay. Some of you have gone into, a, or you were, in a space of healing, four swords, protecting your heart. Okay. Your curiosity started to pick up a little bit, didn't it? As for some of you, not all of you, sometimes I see the split, pay attention to it. Some of you are fascinated by this idea of a new Ten of Cups, possibly. Your interest might have been piqued recently. What's going on? Dude, seriously, what's with the split? What? Six of Wands, yeah. Energy has picked up. Good. Good. We just had a full supermoon in Sagittarius last night. Uh, I took pictures of it. I'm on Instagram, by the way. So, yeah, if you're on Instagram, please feel free to connect with me and then send me your moon pictures. I'm the crazy moon person. Yeah, I love moon pictures. Go ahead. But it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And it was definitely a time for energetical change. So, energy's picked up a little bit. Yes, what? Some of you have packed up and move on. Moved on. Packed up and moved on. I'm not saying it was easy, but I am saying it's something you had to do. That's for some of you, not all of you. Some of you feel like you have to relocate, leaving your home space. It was too much of a pain in the ass, something like that. Something to do with a property piece. Shifting location, particularly at work or workspace. That's for some of you, not all of you. You don't like the building. You don't like the people. You don't like something. But practically speaking, it was what had to be done. I don't know. Okay. Show me that recent shared past. That's for some of you, not all of you. Show me. Dude, seriously, seriously. Come on, get it together. Seriously, your energy is jumpy, which is nice for you. Your energy jumpy. Now we know why. The lovers in your recent shared past, how recent or far back that is, I don't know, but you do. Good that should be with the Gemini. Does not have to be. Oh, and it made you feel good, baby. That's your underlying energy. It made you feel strong. It made you feel like yourself. Ooh, I knew I felt an uptick in your energy, baby. Those cards are just trying to fly out. They're just trying to fly out. It's like, oh, good. Let's do it. Let's bring it on. Yeah, I'm telling you, some of you had to reload. It was a burden. I'm telling you, it was a freaking burden. There was something here that was destructive. It was burdensome. It was tiresome. That tower had to come down. It was implosive, explosive. I don't know. You do. I don't know. But it did not sustain. That's. I, I keep getting that. The emphasis of relocation and building is, is, is critical for some of you. And uh, it, it's for some of you, it felt like you had no choice in the matter. It was forcible exit, something like that. It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to take that shit with you. That can stay the place you exited from. Okay? Current. 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 Let's stay in the positive space, please. Space. Sorry, honey. I'm tired. I've been doing this all day. Some of the current shared. It is swords. You're both overthinking something that's probably very simple. All right. Show me Leo's independent energy, please. Show me Leo's independent current energy, please. That's better. Yeah, the fool. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay, the fool. I want to take a chance. I want to take a risk. I want to take an adventure. Uh, new chapter. New chapter. New chapter. New chapter. There's some mental binding here, but I'm not too worried about it because your energy is much more fluid than it typically is, or what I see for you, I should say. Show me the person surrounding Leo, please. Show me Leo's surrounding energy. Show me their person's energy, please. It could be new as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 As strong as hell. Magician, Ace of Wands, they want you. As far as that, that's the long and short of it. Okay, your person's energy, they are manifesting an Ace of Wands with you. You seem to be inclined to try. This is a lover's energy, strong as hell. Don't get me wrong, there's some headache attached to this shit. I'm telling you, honey, you're overthinking it. You're overthinking it, just allow it to happen. Just let it happen. 
you're overthinking it, allow it to happen. The Five of Swords to the Knight of Cups to you. Okay, somebody wants to direct their energies at you. It's a little confusing. It's not straightforward. It is a soul bond. It's difficult. Either somebody doesn't want to give up on you, or they don't know how to approach you, or they're wondering if they're setting themselves up for failure with that Five of Swords, but they sure as hell want to find out. They sure as hell want to find out because they are manifesting Ace of Wands, a pathway at you. Their energy is being directed at you, and your, your energy is feeling the fool, which is good. Stay in that energy. Don't overthink shit. And the reason I keep saying that is because you're fixed, honey. That's what fixed signs do. It's like our favorite fucking thing is to overthink things. Stop. Exist in that moment. Allow yourself to be the fool. Okay? Show me the future of this connection. Somebody trying to manifest the hell out of you. Show me the future of this connection, please. Show me. King of Swords, Aquarian Energy does not have to be. How so? What's in front of that King of Swords? What's in front of that King of Swords, please? Mm -hmm. Air and fire feed each other quite well. It can also be destructive. Let's find out. Okay. We're turning our back on the combativeness. Okay. What's in front of that Five of Wands, please? Or somebody's choosing to compete with you, quite possibly. Five of Wands in the classic sense is competition. It's not just fighting. It's, it's also competition. What's in front of that Five of Wands? That's what I thought. It's your power card strength. You're all over this. Two of Cups. Yeah. We're going to do it. You're going to do it. Could literally be with an Aquarius. There's some struggle here. I don't know what that is. We're going to take a look. Could be a battle of wills type of the situation. Could be your pride. Wand energy is a little different for you. It's more um, the personification of your pride. Okay. Insisting on fighting that fight, even if it exhausts you. You may not need to. I think the energy is much more fluid than you're giving it credit for. And it could be, or just simply, there's competition over you, or you're going to compete over your person. I don't think you need to, because they're directly manifesting you, so I don't think it's necessary. It's, uh, I need to see what that Five of Wands is. What's the advice? How would you advise Leo, please? 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 I don't know. Be determined, show your passion, that's also your card. For those of you who walked away, you want to know if you're ready, you want to know if you healed yet, you want to know if you're done, yes. Yeah. Give yourself that credit, please. Okay. What's the overall, please? Whatever it is you do, do so with confidence. Okay. King of Wands. Confident, passionate, nurturing, caring, protective. Okay, he has all those qualities. What's the overall, please, for... What's the overall, please, for Leo? What's the overall, please, with Leo? Show me the overall. Six of Swords. Again, heavy relocation aspects for you, but also moving on, moving your energy forward. Have I healed? Yes, I have. The hair fonts under the deck. Uh, Card of Taurus does not have to be, but it's like, yes, please, give yourself permission to move on. Please. The ultimate form of permission, he is. Give yourself permission to move on. Okay, move towards this person, move towards happiness. I don't know, baby, but give yourself the fucking permission, please. Someone is directly manifesting you. You want to know if you're ready. The answer is yes, but only you can ultimately determine that. Okay, that's still a choice. All you can do is critically go within, have a strong talk with Leo. Leo, are we ready to go back out there, Leo? The answer is yes, as far as I can tell. Okay? I don't even, I'm not even convinced that's another person. I, it's probably you fighting yourself. Overthinking. I told you. We had that talk, Leo, honey. We overthink shit. I'm fixed water. I get it. Okay? You know? And so, yeah, it was a long time coming. All right? Long time coming, baby. I've been doing your reading for months. Let it happen. Let this happen, please. But again, that's, that's just me. That's just me. You have free will in all things. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. For Leo, show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Leo. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Yeah, it was a slow going Ten of Cups. Mm. What's going on? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Leo. What's going on? 
I know. I know. I know, honey. Let's do it. Let's see what we're going to see. I like your energy. It seems to be moving in a good direction. Uh, I do believe somebody confronted you, perhaps sooner than you thought you were ready for. Or it's a powerful connection, minimum. Okay, lovers. Lovers will never not be a powerful connection. It's one of the strongest there is, if not the strongest. You know. If I could rename it, and one day I will make my own tarot deck, thank you. <laughs> yes. I would rename it the connection of a lifetime. Nine of Cups. Trying to make our person happy, trying to make each other happy. Okay. But it was a struggle. There was the idea of energy. I can't have your energy. Can I have your energy? Are we together? The tower, you know. <sighs> Could you two get on the same page? The feeling was so terribly strong. The feeling was so terribly strong. Wishes, wants, expectations. I want you. You want me. These are my desires. These are your desires. All that. All that was had between you two. There was such a strong, strong emotional connection and this desire to please each other very strongly. Very much so. What else, please, about the lovers? What else, please? Queen of Pentacles, but it was also coming from a grounded practical place. A Virgo Capricorn Taurus does not have to be realism. Realism set in for somebody. Realism set King of Pentacles underline that point. Oh my. Could have been a missed opportunity. In this, and the reason I say this because in this deck, he's the only time we ever see the King of Pentacles pissed off ever. He's like the coolest, most grounded guy, right, of all the kings. Retro? Great! No, actually, it's just melted. <laughs> That's just what happens when a candle melts. Unfortunately, it did not melt inward. It, it went over the lip. So, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. It's not rocket science there. Okay. Um, it, well, that could be an example of what just happened with our love and the passion just spilled over. Just spilled over. Okay, yes, we could use that metaphor, sure. This passion just spilled over like the... Anyway, don't listen to me. All right. Actually, no, you're supposed to. That's why you're here. Okay. So, it was trying to come from a grounded place. Reality kicked in for somebody. We have a lot in common. Yeah. Yeah. But is that enough? Are we friends? Can we make each other happy? Are we friends? Can we make each other happy? So, what was I saying about the King of Pentacles? He's The only time we see him mad is because... He missed an opportunity or resource, you know, to improve his own happiness or sense of kingdom. So for some of you, it feels like a missed opportunity. Either they missed out on your energy or you missed out on their energy, something like that. Reality kicked in, though, this Queen of Pentacles. And what was the thought? What was the distress here? Some of this Eight of Swords energy. Some of that Eight of Swords energy, please. Reality kicked in. It was grounded. It practical. It was also very central. Queen of Pentacles, highly central. Highly sensual between you two. Highly sensual. Show me this Eight of Swords. We're overthinking what? What are we overthinking here? What are we overthinking? What are we overthinking? The Passion, Ace of Wands. We did not let it flow the way it was supposed to. The Ace of Wands. That's interesting. Given the connection was so damn strong. Some of you were confused between two people, two people, I'm seeing one of these as you, because we do have the King of Wands here, but the Two of Swords, I am undecided about this King of Cups, could literally have been a Scorpio, does not have to be, but um, someone of equal and impressive value to yourself, I'm unsure about this person, if they are an actual pathway in my life. We overthought the passion, we overthought it, there was way too much thought given to the passion, okay. And it was more than passion. Ace of Wands is also the light of pathway. Is this person a true light of pathway in my life? We were overthinking it. Somebody was overthinking it instead of just allowing it to flow. And somebody's grounded, and that's lovely. Grounded practical energy is lovely. That's what we want. But uh, somebody kind of said, well, practically speaking, okay, am I attributing the, this connection? Is it mostly just derived in passion? being turned on, or is this person an actual true light of pathway in my life? We overthought it. We overthought it. You, them, the both of you. And it sucks too because your energy is just so open and pleasing as the lovers. It's sensual. But we overthought the passion way too much. It, it, 
that Ace of Wands was grounded in reality way too soon or way too fast or it was practically speaking does this make sense something like that man we overthought it that's the long and short of it that's the long and short of it we were confused about this person and what they meant to us you know it felt so good it felt so good what else plays about the eight of swords what else contributed to the problem here I I don't know. It feels like it is past tense, but it might be concurrent, honey. Six of Swords, so we we healed from it and moved on. We healed from it and moved on. Or at least that's what we said. We healed from it and moved on. It just like it doesn't it doesn't matter. It was just passion, something like that. What the hell happened? We tried to move away from this idea of it's just fire, it's just fire, it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't mean anything. Oh, that lover's energy begs to differ, honey. It begs to differ. Show me the fool, please. Show me the fool, please. Show me the fool, please. Show me. And now, I don't know how far back this is. I just know it's powerful as hell. And uh, we overthought the passion. And we had to move away from it. Six of Swords. Okay, just just move on. It doesn't really seem to have a conclusive ending. I don't see an actual ending here. I don't see a death here, and I don't see cycling here. So I don't know what this is that you moved on from. But it's like it's almost like you talked yourself out of it. That's what's weird to me. I don't know how far this went. I just see that somebody or the both of you talked yourselves out of it and moved away from each other. But it's also not conclusive. It's still open-ended. So, if that makes sense to you, please do let me know. And now our energy is opening back up. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, over the Fool. We want to try again. It could be with the same person because they pulled up an Ace of Wands. They're manifesting you back. Because, I'm going to tell you right now, this shit's unresolved. It's unresolved. Okay. It's unresolved. Um, your emotional energy is opening up, and it's in a positive way. The hair font, correct. You're giving yourself permission to do this. Your emotional energy is opening back up. Your emotional, your passion energy. You're giving yourself permission, the hair font energy, to open that back up. Take a chance again. Try again. Take a leap of faith again with that full energy. And it's positive. It's not negative. This is hanging. This is a hanging question mark. I don't know why this isn't conclusive. Um, I just know somebody's practical side and their thinking side, just, they just, it just killed it. Whatever that is, it just killed the connection. Somebody overthought it instead of allowing that energy to flow naturally the way it was supposed to. You can say it's them, you can say it's them, then it's fine. It's them, honey. I don't know. You would know best. My first energy says it applies. Your energy, your direct, independent, singular energy says it's time to open back up to this. We're giving ourselves permission to do this. Okay. Action again. It's happening. The other person is manifesting you. The magician with the ace of wands. Bad. They're manifesting you bad. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, it's the lovers. Okay. That kind of... Bond energy never goes away. It's inconvenient in that respect, but it's also the strongest bond system. It's never gonna go away, right? Doesn't matter how you try to move on away or move on from it or move away from it. It's never gonna go away. They are communicating with you, page of wands. It's light though. It's light. It's light. Um, they do want to talk to you. They're trying to use their intuition. Okay, the high priestess is underlying that point. Uh, but yes, they very much want to manifest that Ace of Wands with you again. Very much so, but they're keeping it on the Page of Wands. Light, to keep it light. Just keep it light. Um, start with a conversation. Start with talking. Start with communication. That's it. Okay. They think about you a great deal. I don't know why this left off. Perhaps you took... Again, most of it was jamming up the works here. 
we're overthinking it. We're overthinking it instead of allowing ourselves to feel it. So we kind of, and I'm going to say you lost it, honey. It doesn't look blocked. I would tell you if it was blocked. I would tell you if it was over. I would tell you if there was a distinct ending here. I don't see a distinct energy. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't see a distinct ending. I don't. I would tell you if I did. It just looks like it left off. As unsatisfying as that is, but if it makes sense to you, then it makes sense to you. It looks like it left off. And now it might be picking back up again. Uh, but it starts with communication. They're using their intuition to speak with you. This person is a strong manifester. And they see an Ace of Wands with you, which again is, extends far beyond passion. It's a pathway. It's a light. It's a way of seeing things and operating in the world. Okay. What else, please? It does feel... See, I'm telling you. This person is packing some serious energy. Okay. They're the Empress with the Wheel of Fortune. They make things happen. This person makes things happen. They want to make things happen with you. But... It's, it starts small. I don't, they anticipate your energy, three of wands. They are anticipating your energy. Their, their energy is packing something fierce, seductive, gorgeous, lovely. Um, sex or relevant tarot, doesn't matter. And they see those things in you too. They see you as the Empress, dual card of Taurus Libra. Um, They, they want change with you. I don't know how, but they want change with you. I don't... It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look manipulative. I would tell you if it did. Um, I'm assuming they want the best for you. All right? Um, but they do want change with you. They recognize your value. You recognize their value. All right? Um, yeah, but it starts with a level of communication and discussion. That's lovely and it's warm. And let the energy flow don't overthink it. That's how you're going to kill the connection. I don't even kill it, man, but if there was a time delay, it was kind of substantial. If there was a time delay between you two, it was substantial, and it was just... It's like, I don't know what to make of this. I gotta go. Something like that. I don't know, honey. I'm sorry. I would tell you if I could. Now, let's move it on. Um, let's see. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification. Show me what I need to see, please. Yeah, reconnecting with you. Literally, three cups, two strength. Yeah. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel malicious. They have a very high regard for you, a very strong respect for you, particularly where your productivity is concerned. You see, it was highly productive. You put a lot of value into the world. But uh, it's unassuming. They're not pushing... Not with that page of wands, two of wands energy. There's no way. There's no way. I feel like they would rather talk to you than not. I don't know how else to put that. I don't know how else to put it. They would rather talk to you than not. Something like that. Okay. But they're a strong manifester. You seem to know that about them as well. Show me this king of swords, please. Why do I feel like you're, ref you're reflecting back on this? Show me this king of swords and the five of wands. Those two kind of go together. Show me that king of wands, please. And Okay. King of... Why did I say that? King of swords... We're fighting. We're fighting. Sorry, had to do a time check. <laughs> what about it? What about this? Ah. It was so close. Okay. Yeah, five of cups over the ten of cups, which reduced it to half. <sighs> Blockage. Why did I not... Why did we not ascend? That kind of thing it was blockage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Slow communication, that's another problem. Um, a blockage. We, how did we go from a 10 to a 5? Why were we at a 5 and we didn't go to a 10? It was blockage, constant blockage. We were fighting ourselves way too much. Somebody's understanding this with the King of Swords energy. It could be you, it could be them. Uh, but somebody's understanding that through this constant fighting, fighting of the self specifically, is what caused uh, either... 10 to a 5, in other words, a reduction of cups, okay? Or the reason why we never went from a 5 to a 10. Either way, this is an internal thought process, and we don't like it. It makes us mad and angry, something like that. It was just blockage and bullshit, and why did... Why? Why? Why was I so defensive? Why were they so defensive? Why did I push this the way? I, I know it's an internal thought process with that King of Swords. Like, it's not active. 
it's not active and I mean external there's a difference between external and internal energy I'm looking at internal energy this king of swords is fighting themselves why 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 so we're heavily questioning this I do see it more like hold on let's show me strength first before I say that show me strength please show me strength slowly but surely your two energies are coming back together yeah okay we still have doubts but we're keeping them quiet there's been change change to somebody's foundation change to somebody's foundation you are them You will get the solidity that you want. Queen of Wands underlying that point. You will get the solidity that you want, Leo, honey. Energetically speaking, you two are coming back together. You will get the solidity that you want. When we've come to terms, why this connection was blocked in the first place. Why are we fighting ourselves? Why didn't we let the energy flow? And that's when everything becomes more cohesive. There might have been a change in somebody's foundation. True. I don't know. Money, legacy, finances, career, home. Could be somebody had a commitment pre-existing. I haven't seen that up until this point, but that's also a possibility. I can't say it isn't. Somebody might have had change in their commitment. I'm saying that over your energy. So you might have had a change in foundation, home, and again, business. I kept seeing an emphasis on that. Change of businesses, something like that. So again... Ten of Pentacles is also property, all right? Shared space, also communal, that kind of thing. Um, there might have been a change in that respect. I feel like we're more equipped to handle the energy flow now, or we could not before. Show me this King of Wands, please. It's very internal. You are still making slow discoveries about yourself in this connection. That's way too many. We can't do all that. We can't do all that. We cannot do all this. We cannot do all this. It's largely a discussion about what happened and why. How, whatever it was that between you two, when it ended, it gave you more perspective, something like that. The King of Wands, but it never really ended, did it? No, it didn't. Show me this. Okay. Dude, so much, so much burden in you. So much toy, so much turmoil. Okay, so much fighting your natural energy. I, I don't know what it is, honey. Maybe this person didn't commit to you as fast as you wanted. Perhaps they didn't have his feelings as fast for you as you wanted. I see a rejection of the natural flow of energy. I don't know why. Perhaps you didn't trust it. Perhaps they didn't trust it. I don't know. But it was the problem from day one. It was a powerful connection. And somebody could not get out of their head about it. So they literally moved on from it, but they didn't actually resolve it either. You know what I mean? It wasn't resolved. Um, they do want to manifest you back. They want to talk to you. I see you, honestly, honey, I'm sorry. I wish I could give you more action-oriented stuff, but I see you doing the heavy lifting in terms of your thought processes. And um, why did you fight this connection? What does it mean to you now? You know, what could it mean for you in the context of the future? Like... You have got to fight to take that mask off. You do. You have to fight to take the mask off. And I say that because we're playing a high stakes game of poker, ten of wands, bluffing. Like it doesn't cause me turmoil. It doesn't cause me difficulty. Yes, it does. I call bullshit, Leo. I call bullshit. This doesn't burden me at all. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. I do. It bothers you. And it's okay to admit that. You know, if this was a lost energy or it felt like so much time has passed between you two or it was a lost cause or whatever, you don't have to keep fighting yourself with it. Just accept it. Again, part of blocking the natural flow of energy is not just blocking what is positive but also blocking what is negative. And that negativity includes the lessons we need to learn in order to have viable and fruitful connections. Okay? Stop fighting yourself. Stop fighting yourself, please. You know, it's not helping you. Take your mask off. Let your pride down. This is why I didn't engage with your energy fully. This is why... 
this is why, etc., etc. Honey, at the end of the day, you two are coming back together, okay? And mostly in the future, I just see you contemplating. It does seem to be changing for the positive for you in this connection. It's just slow going, and you're going to question it every step of the way. Um, but just so pleased that you don't overthink it to the point of blocking, because it's not serving you. You're fighting yourself. That's all your wand energy right there. You're fighting yourself. So again, I'm not trying to put this all on you. I'm sure that they had their stuff too. They think the world of you. I can see it. <sighs> Some of you are afraid to move and change, but that's, that's just not it. I see you heavily. Why did I fight this? Why did I fight that? Why did I say this? Why did I say that? It didn't mean all that much to me. Yes, it did. And you're going to go back and forth like that, like a ping pong ball for a while. While, I must say, you are still energetically engaging this person. So this is an internal process. I'm sorry, I wish I'd give you something more solid, but honey, you are literally fighting yourself. Five of Wands to the Ten of Wands, this, this ain't great. You are fighting yourself. You know? You are fighting yourself still in the future, and the advice is, is to stop. Allow yourself to feel this connection. If you don't want to lose it, then don't act like it don't mean nothing to you. Because it does. Okay? That's that's your pride talking. That's the bad pride, not the good pride. Okay? Um, Alright, show me the Six of Swords as your overall energy. Show me the Six of Swords, please, as your overall energy. Oh, for God's sake. Here we go. It just It just keeps going. I'm glad to see an uptick in your energy. You do seem a bit more frisky, so that's good. You're going to have small victories. You are. Okay. You're going to have small victories. You are. You're going to have small victories and feeling more confident about this connection. You are. I would like it if you got out of your head more. I would. You've been pulling up almost King and Queen of Swords exclusively. So again, I would like it if you got out of your head more and allowed yourself to experience these experiences in order for you to feel better about this connection where it's going because you are still actively engaged in it this is most of the shit that's in your head but at least you're not blocking it okay at least you're not blocking it okay um i do believe you're trying to give this a, a, a solid chance honey it's little victories here it's little victories that's what's helping you move forward Okay, this person wouldn't be manifesting you so hard if they didn't see you in this way. Okay? And they are. They're manifesting like the Dickens. Alright? To get you into their lives, to get to get into your life, however you want to put it. They are trying very hard. They want you. Okay? Um, you know, hopefully it's not things like failed relationships in the past that keep you held back and wary. But I can't say that's not the truth either. That's also a very real possibility for some of you. Like... That 5 to 10 is not great. And you think about it relentlessly. These relationships that have failed in the past, and will it be different this time? And that's that overthinking shit. That's that overthinking shit, honey. Allow yourself to feel it. I know that's easier said than done, but honey, just allow yourself to feel it with this person. Um, this, this, honestly, this whole thing feels like you. Just your internal process. You know? I wish I could give you something more conclusive, but you spend a lot of time, you know, thinking about this connection, the solidity of it, where is it going to go, based on my failures of the past and things like that. Honey, just please allow yourself to feel it. Literally, your advice is to stop fighting yourself. That's a lot of self-ass kicking energy right there. Don't do that to yourself, honey. Okay, please. Please don't do this for yourself. It's just not worth it. Small victories. Small victories. Enjoy this person's energy. Okay? Allow yourself to enjoy this person's energy. Um, you want to know if it's going to go somewhere if it'll lead to something long-term solid? I don't know. And here's the thing. Neither do you. And you're not going to until you're in it. Okay? You're not going to know until you're in it. This connection's strong as hell. So that is something you can take strength in. Yeah? Okay. I'm tired. I'm tired. But you know what? I'll take this. I'll take this one. I'll take this one because comparatively, if you've seen the readings for Leo the past couple months, you can see why I take this. Let it flow, honey. 
let it flow. They want you, you want them. All right? Leo, I hope this was helpful to you. Take care. Be well.